I just got back from installing my Trail Rack's Modular Rack, or Tremor for short. This is the only rack that is endorsed by Ford through its ambassador program as well as Bronco Nation. Doing my own research prior to purchasing this of what's available on the market, this is hands down the only rack to get for your new Bronco. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. First of all, I'm not gonna do an install video. Trail Racks on their YouTube channel has an incredible install video that we uh, we followed step by step and it was so painless. It was such an easy installation and they cover it so well on their channel. So there's no way I could do any better. Um, if you're installing this, go check out their video because it's amazing. The second thing I wanna say is if you want any more information on the rack after this video, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. Um, so definitely go check them out there or you can drop questions in the comments and I will answer as quickly as possible. So before I go over kind of my first impressions of the product, I first wanna hit you with some specs. The Tremor rack is made of 5051 316th aluminum. So the side rails are all one piece and they have a 90 degree bend at the top. And that's super cool for a couple reasons. First of all, that's gonna help the rigidity and strength of the product. Second of all, it provides a 360 degree area for you to mount all sorts of accessories. I know for me personally, I'm gonna utilize that for some extra lighting, uh, specifically chase lights, but that's a super cool benefit to have on this rack. Since it's made primarily out of aluminum construction, that means when you expose this to the elements and all the wet and rainy conditions and, and whatever else you're gonna face, it's not going to rust. The Tremor Rack is also 100% bolt-on installation. It uses the factory mounting points from Ford, so there's no drilling of the hard top or modifying the Bronco in any way in order to mount this system. The rack is only gonna add a little less than four inches of height to the overall Bronco, but what's super cool about that is there's cutouts that allows you to take the roof off of, of the Bronco still. So above the driver and passenger seat and above the back seats, you can still remove those portions of the roof entirely when the weather gets really nice. That was a huge selling factor for me when deciding on what rack to get. The weight capacity of this rack is 300 pounds static and 850 pounds dynamic. And then if you have the rack packs on the side, each of them will hold 70 pounds each. This is more than what you can get from Ford. Their rack does not offer that same weight capacity. And the capacity that this offers is plenty to be able to mount my rooftop tent and a plethora of storage options um, down the road when I'm, you know, when I figure out what my setup is gonna be. This also comes with a wind deflector, which is going to reduce or eliminate the added wind noise that a roof rack would otherwise add completely. This rack is also 100% made in the USA. If trail racks didn't make the product themselves and they sourced it from uh, a company within the US. So the T-Bar specifically, I don't believe are made by them. Everything else is, is uh, designed and cut by them, but those T-Bars, they source from another company. So everything here is completely made in the USA. So at the time I was looking for a rack, there were quite a few rack options out there that offered um, a couple of these features, but there was nothing that offered all of them in one package. And that's why the Trail Racks Tremor is the only way to go for your new Bronco. So upon receiving it and opening the boxes, I was amazed at how well everything was, was packaged. Everything was individually wrapped in a thin sheet of foam and taped up so it, it didn't come apart. All the hardware was in individual bags and that was placed in a moldable foam and then taped up and boxed up. So nothing shifted or moved apart. There were no dings or dents or scratches in any of the components that I received. It was packaged so well. Looking over the products before assembling anything, you can, you can tell the quality. It's a powder coated finish. You can tell it's high quality and it's not going to wear easily. All the components, when you look at it, appear to be extremely precision made. And then once we got to the installation, I can definitely say they're precision made. We had no issues lining anything up. Aside from the, 
the stuff on the back of the rack, but I think that has more to do with the foam. I'll cover that in a minute. But you can tell everything was just beautifully made. It's, it's an excellent, super high quality product. And the rack packs are, the rack packs are one of the easiest things to assemble ever. And it, you just need to have the rack packs. There's no way you shouldn't get the rack packs if you're getting this rack. It's incredible. I love them. The only thing I would change as far as the installation compared to Trail Rack's video is when you're lining up the two front mounts, they want you to put that, uh, that T-bar on the rack, put the whole rack up and measure it and do all that and then bring it back off and do that. What we did was we just took a T-bar and those two mounts and then measured on either end of the mount. So for us, it was uh, one and seven eighths inch hanging on either end of it and and that was centered up perfectly so we put that up there measured it make sure it was centered tightened them down assembled the rack and then put it back on the bronco and it was perfectly centered we didn't have an issue going that route so that i think that's the only thing i would change about the installation compared to their video so every part of the installation was super super easy assembling the rack was really easy lining or centering it on the Bronco is really easy. Um, it, when you're laying everything out and all the hardware and stuff like that, it was super easy to identify where everything went. And it was just, it was quick to put it all together. The only thing that was a little bit difficult were the pinch clamps in the back. We had difficulty lining the holes on either side up because they're supposed to go, you have an inner mount, and an outer mount and then the rack goes in between and then so there's essentially three holes that have to line up we found that difficult i think because the foam that you have to put on those clamps to protect the hard top um so that could just be a matter of of how we put the foam on maybe we might have messed that up or or there there is quite a bit of cushion right so maybe after time that'll settle in and, and compress a little bit um but upon installation initially it was it was kind of rough to put together but that was literally the hardest part of the entire installation and even then it wasn't like it wasn't that hard as far as using the rack initially um it's been super easy it was incredibly easy to mount the tent uh, there's plenty of room underneath the backside to be able to reach in and tighten the, the mounting points down for the tent and for the front mounting points uh, we just picked up the roof because you can remove the roof on it So we just slid it forward a little bit and we had access to those mounting points there So it was super super easy to mount the tent. I haven't mounted the accessories yet. Uh, we kind of ran out of time but it It, it looks like it's going to be super super easy uh, To do that as well on the rack packs the panel that sits on there there's two bolts holding it on and it's really easy to remove it because it's it's threaded on the bars that attach to the roof rack itself so i can literally remove those two bolts take it down mount whatever i need to and then place it back up it's not like i have to thread something in between that and the window so i think that's going to make it so easy to configure it however i want to which i did order a bit of accessories for so i have a set of handles i have a shovel and axe mount and then I have the universal recovery board mount as well. Really, really excited to get all that on there, but it's, it's very apparent uh, when you're working with this rack and getting it installed and, and doing all that, that they really took a lot of time in the design portion of this to think through how their end user is gonna use it and they made it as simple as possible. Um, I could not be happier with this rack so far. So next, let's get this thing on the road and see how it performs. So this is not my first drive with the rack installed. Um, I drove it home from the installation and then um, now I'm going to pick up my kids. So this is my second time in it. Um, in my first drive home, I noticed there was a lot of whistling coming from just above me. Um, around 35 to 40 miles an hour. Um, at that time, I had two to three bars with nothing mounted on it. So I think that was just a matter of the wind whipping through there um, and causing that whistling. Since then, I have mounted my Max Tracks right about here. 
and that whistling is completely gone. So that had nothing to do with the rack itself, that was just a matter of, you know, you need to have some stuff up there to kind of, uh, to prevent that from happening. The other noise that I've noticed is um, coming from the back, there's a squeaking noise and it is 100% the pin clamps. Um, I have already noticed it kind of settling down a little bit. I'm going on, honestly, probably about 25 minutes of, of actual drive time, but the rack has been on for over 24 hours. Um, it's starting to quiet down a little bit. I think it's a matter of the foam kind of settling in place, um, but that's definitely noticeable at first. Um, if it goes away completely, I'll pin a comment and let you guys know uh, if that happens. But, but yeah, that was something else that I noticed. As far as actual wind noise is concerned, I haven't taken it on the freeway yet, so I can't comment on that. But around town, I've had it up to like 45 miles an hour, and I have not noticed any additional wind noise. Um, the Bronco isn't an overly quiet place to be. There is, um, there's definitely some uh, some pretty good wind noise from the factory not like I've never had to raise my voice to have a conversation in here even on the freeway um, but it's not the quietest place to begin with so I haven't noticed any additional wind noise with the installation of a rack and again that's not on the highway I haven't had it on the highway yet but around town uh, there's nothing additional other than that I don't know what else to say about it it hasn't obstructed my visibility at all um, I can see out of my side view mirrors just fine um, I couldn't you can kind of see out of those back windows without the rack packs there um, and putting them on hasn't obstructed what little I could see uh, prior to the installation yeah I mean it's a it's a sliver so it hasn't really changed visibility out of the out of the vehicle at all um, I have a rooftop tent so you can tell there's some added weight um, and slightly top heavier but this is more of a comment on the Bronco than it is the roof rack this 2.7 liter uh, twin turbo v6 handles the additional weight really really well but the most impressive thing I think is the suspension because the suspension has adapted to it beautifully um, you can tell there's like a little bit extra weight back there but I remember when I put the rooftop tent on my Tacoma, and this is this is like a mid-height um, mounted rooftop tent. There was there was noticeable body roll um, when I mounted it on there for the first time. It took a lot to get used to because of that additional weight higher up. On here, you can tell there's additional weight, but it's like. The suspension honestly handles it so so well it does not feel um, it does not feel that different from from how it did completely stock um, I'm super impressed with the suspension on this Bronco um, in multiple reasons but that's just another one to to be impressed about so I hope that was helpful. Uh, like I said, there's a link in the description to the Trail Racks website if you have any more questions, or you can uh, drop a question in the comments um, and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Overall, initially I am super impressed with this rack system and I'm very excited to take it out and take it through its paces. So while these are just my initial thoughts, I have many trips planned up where I'll be testing this rack system out and figuring out the configuration that I wanna work with and uh, just how it is on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're interested in that long-term, uh, definitely stick around because I'll be showing this on all of my adventure videos from here on out. I'm super, super excited about this system. Um, excited to have my rooftop tent back. Um, it was, it worked sleeping in the back of the, of the truck, but man, I miss the rooftop tent. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, I hope you're able to get off the grid and off the grind, and I'll see you in the next one.